This is the all new Lucid Air Grand Touring. This is Lucid's first vehicle. It rides on a 900 volt architecture. And this is the Grand Touring model. So there's the Air Pier Grand Touring. And then there's the Sapphire version. And there's also Grand Touring Performance. This is the Grand Touring Performance. As you can see, it's riding on 21 inch wheels. The wheelbase is approximately 196 inches long. Overall, I would say I love this design. This reminds me of the Lincoln Corsair, the Lincoln Continental, but electrified. Overall, it's a beautiful design. This is the most cavernous trunk I've ever seen. 12 volt, right over here. This is for towing, so if your vehicle is stuck and you need a tow hook, it's located right over here. You get approximately 30, about 25 to 26 cubic feet of storage. As you can see, this is very deep. It could probably fit four to six carry-on luggages in the back. Rear lights, these are very important, especially if you're a vehicle far away and you need to know that the lights are on for safety reasons. Charging cable, plenty of storage. Power operated tailgate. You control your lights over here. This is your windshield wiper intensity. You can control from level one, level two, auto, low, off. Ambient lighting, this is better than a Tesla because you can get ambient lighting. You cannot get it on the Model S and X now. You even have massaging seats, which is something you know you do not find in a Tesla or a Rivian. Another cool thing about the Grand Touring model is that you can also get the optional 22-way massaging 22-way power seats. So go to here. You can adjust the position of the seat. So it's moving it forward and backward. Let me sh first show you. I can move the seat forward or backward. And for the height, I can also move it up or down. I can also recline the seat I can also tilt the cushion up and down like any normal vehicle lumbar support four-way lumbar support backward forward up and down backwards width so I can actually control the bolsters over here I can even move them inward as you can see very nice feature this is the feature you get especially in european cars i love bolster adjustment because you know when you're driving very quickly around the corner you definitely need a seat to grip you in and as standard you do get this curved display with this secondary screen i want to also show you something interesting you have a thigh support you can move the seat cushion forward and backward too definitely a nice feature on a luxury car last but not least i can adjust the height of the headrest even have four zone climate control so i can also adjust the climate control in the back i can also heat all the rear seats from the back as you can see here but you, a passenger needs to be in the back seat of the vehicle in order for this climate control panel to turn on. One thing I appreciate about Lucid are these physical HVAC controls. So I can toggle the music here. Let's take a listen to this 21 speaker surreal sound system.
So this controls your adaptive cruise control. This is your cancel button, your lane centering, and your adaptive cruise control. The build quality here isn't that great. I have to say for a hundred thirty to hundred sixty thousand dollar vehicle. But over, I would say the build quality is acceptable for a six figure sedan. Leather stitching on the lower part of the door cards. Decent space for my alkaline water. It actually fits very easily. Two cup holders. Uh, one cell phone wireless charging pad. This is not, unfortunately, decent center console space. Cool. Can you see it? It's just a California Golden Bear. It's really deep. You can probably fit a Kleenex inside. Pretty hollow. One cool thing about a Lucid infotainment system is you can do this. Voila! A Christmas present. Anyway, this is probably for the next owner of the vehicle. Let's see what happens if you put your hand there. Uh, I don't want to get my hand stuck. Anyway, this infotainment system is extremely intuitive and easy to use. Let's check out the back. To open the door, pull this trigger. Soft close doors in action. Pop out door handles. Rear seats, they have an abundant amount of leg room. I'm about five feet nine. I still have, I would say, almost a foot of leg room. And remember, this sedan is the size of a Camry, but it has leg room figures rivaling a Mercedes S Class. I can also extend the rear sunshade here, as you can see. The Lucid, the Grand Touring models, and the Touring, they all have the glass roofs, but I believe on the Pier and the Sapphire, they are both fixed. And on the Sapphire, you cannot option the glass roof on the Pier, you could. This is what the ambient lighting looks like. Suede headliner. Only the rear passengers get these grab handles, which are very important. Accented lighting. Speaker grill. A very tiny C pillar. Rear sunshades. Power rear sunshades. Heated rear seats. Plenty of space here. And two USB type C ports right over here. You also have a USB A port here and a USB C port here. Overall, I am very impressed by the interior of the Lucid Air. It is extremely luxurious. It is high tech. And overall, the materials are absolutely amazing. The only downside is that the steering wheel controls are a bit cheap i would say they're not they don't feel particularly substantial they don't have much heft unlike what you see from a bmw or mercedes or an audi overall this is a european inspired interior and i'm a really big fan of the interior truly a marvelous place to be Last but not least, I'm going to pop the front trunk. This is how you do it. How cool is that? An automatic powered trunk. Front air scoop. This is actually metal, not plastic. Decent storage. Even more here. The largest front of any sedan. To close it. Go here. 
Last but not least, let me show you where the charge port door is. So the Lucid Air can charge at approximately 300 kilowatts power and this is a 112 kilowatt hour battery pack. This signifies your vehicle charge. So green means it's fully charged, white is not fully charged. In order to close it, you do this. This concludes the review of the Lucid Air Grand Touring, truly an aesthetically pleasing sedan. I highly recommend it if you're looking for a luxury sedan. I would put this above a Mercedes EQS or a Tesla Model S. This is the best EV sedan out there. And the acceleration is br blistering quick. Zero to 60 in just three seconds. Around 2.6 for the performance and three for the non-performance. You can go approximately 400 miles on a single charge. You have 20 something cameras, cameras all over the vehicle, cameras here, in the back, all over the place. The glove box is damp, decent amount of storage. Physical air vents inspired by Audi design. Truly a marvelous interior. Thanks for watching.